Welcome to the mindfulness portion of today's retreat. Uh, my name is Meriden McGraw, and I am a mindfulness and pranayama, which means breath techniques teacher. My background is in public health and positive psychology, and I help people learn easily implemented techniques to increase their overall mental well-being. So today I'm going to teach you two techniques, um, and then I'm also going to walk through how you might practice these techniques at home. So I'm hoping this will be relaxing for you, but also informative, so you can take away um, some of the information and start to practice by yourself. So why do we practice mindfulness? Um, we are under a lot of stress in our society, which is not something I probably need to tell you. We um, experience high levels of stress as individuals and collectively, and that's certainly only been increased in 2020 with current events. So when we have prolonged stress, because not all stress is bad, but when we have prolonged stress without rest or healthy coping mechanisms, we're constantly in a fight or flight um, response, which is our body's way of coping with stressors or preparing us to cope with stressors. But we don't want to stay in that fight or flight response um, because it can lead to burnout, poor health, and decreased performance, whether that be in relationships, jobs, etc. So we want to realize, hey, we're constantly experiencing these stressors. Um, I'm in a fight or flight response. What can I do to calm my nervous system down, to calm the body down? And that's where mindfulness and breath techniques come into play. So we know that taking care of the mind, and this is why I love one in five because they certainly believe this and the work they do aligns with this, but taking care of the mind isn't a nice thing to do. It's certainly necessary. It's a necessary ingredient in whatever you want to do, in the recipe for success at whatever you want to do in life. So mindfulness, um, mind-body practices specifically, um, before we go into mindfulness, help us do this. So mind-body practices are this larger umbrella of practices um, under which mindfulness and breath techniques fall. And these practices help us return to baseline, meaning they help us turn off our fight or flight response, trigger our parasympathetic nervous system, which is the part of the nervous system in charge of rest, digestion, and they help us calm down. So we know there is a lot of research on both mindfulness and breath techniques and the benefits in our bodies. And some of the best research or mo most robust research has been done at UMass, which is where John Kabat-Zinn works. Um, and this is his definition of mindfulness. So mindfulness is the awareness that arises through paying attention in a particular way on purpose in the present moment non-judgmentally to the unfolding of experience moment to moment. So it's setting the intention to pay attention with non-judgment to whatever is happening in front of us. And it's often that non-judgment part that gets us as humans, but it's simply being in the present moment. It's waking up to what is right in front of us instead of being caught in an imaginary moment in our minds in the future or being caught in a a past moment that already happened that we're ruminating on. So it's really being engaged in the present moment. And when we're able to do that, when we're able to focus on what is happening here and now, our minds cannot be anxious because they're not in the future and they can't be distressed or depressed in the past. They're in the present moment with whatever is happening. And that's why mindfulness we've seen helps people um, increase overall well-being, decrease stress, improve um, their immune functioning, which I think is interesting, helps with blood pressure, pain, all different kinds of things through helping individuals be in the present moment. So one of the most um, common formalized ways to practice mindfulness, so people always ask, can I just be in the present moment? Of course, you can practice mindfulness anywhere, anytime. There's formal practices to help train our brain how to practice mindfulness. So then when we are in our day-to-day -day lives, it's easier for us to be in the present moment. It's easier for us to bring the mind into the present moment. That's why we practice some of these more formalized techniques. And one of those techniques is called a body scan. So it's one of the most common, most popular formalized mindfulness medita meditation techniques. And we're going to um, launch into a body scan today. It'll be about 10 to 12 minutes. 
Um, and it's a shorter body scan, so you can practice 25, 30-minute body scans. This is a great practice to use before bed if you have trouble falling asleep, and it's also a great practice to use throughout your day if you need a quick little boost of energy. So find a comfortable position. Maybe put your phone down or your computer, however you're watching this. Maybe you shut the door to whatever room that you're in. Or maybe you take a moment to go find a quiet space in your house. And once you find that quiet space, find that nice comfortable position. So seated, you can lie down for this one if you'd like. Or you can sit on the floor in a cross-legged position or you can sit in a chair. And if you're in a chair, go ahead and uncross your legs and take the soles of your feet to the ground beneath you. And get out any last wiggling, any last movement, any last scratches. And then just start to notice the parts of the body that connect with the earth. So maybe it's the bottom of the feet, the ankles, or if you're lying down, maybe it's the back of the legs, the back, the back of the head. Just noticing. And perhaps noticing if with each exhale, the body can relax just a little bit deeper into that support, into the support of the ground beneath you. And perhaps you even imagine the ground pressing back, supporting you. And then bring awareness to the breath. So notice the inhale and the exhale. Notice where the breath wants to go in the body. So maybe it's all the way up by the chest, the collarbone. Maybe it's the side lungs by the rib cage, or maybe it's all the way down by the belly. First, just noticing. And then perhaps dropping the breath down to the low belly. So inhaling, low belly inflates like a balloon. And exhaling, belly button falls toward the spine. Inhaling, low belly inflates like a balloon. And exhale, belly button falls toward the spine. Take one more deep breath like that, deepest inhale and deepest exhale. And then bring all your attention, all your awareness to the toes on the left foot. Notice all of the toes on the left foot. Notice the sensations in the bottom of the left foot. What can you feel here? What do you notice? Notice the top of the left foot. As your mind starts to wander, as thoughts come, bring all your focus, all your attention to the left ankle. Inside out, front, back. The entire left foot. And perhaps with an exhale, you imagine the left foot just relaxing, releasing. And then bring your attention to the left calf. Perhaps it connects with the ground beneath you if you're lying down. Just notice the sensations here. And perhaps with each exhale, the muscles in the left calf begin to melt, release, relax. And as mind starts to wander, bring your attention to the left shin, the left knee, inside out, front, back, the left hamstring, the back of the left thigh, the front of the left thigh, left hip point, left hip point, left toes, the entire left leg. Notice the sensations in the entire left leg. And perhaps with an exhale, you release, relax, feeling the entire left leg just melt. And then bring your attention to the toes on the right foot, right pinky, right big toe, bottom of the right foot, top, right ankle, the entire right foot. And perhaps as mind starts to wander, bring your attention to the right calf, right shin, right kneecap, inside out, front, back, back of the right thigh, front of the right thigh, right hip point, tips of the right toes, the entire right leg. What sensations do you notice in the entire right leg? 
and perhaps with an exhale you imagine the entire right leg just releasing relaxing all the muscles melting and then bring your attention back to the low belly notice the breath here the rise and fall of the inhale and the exhale bring attention to the low back what sensations do you notice here Bring attention to the tailbone and perhaps trace each vertebrae, one stacking on top of the other, all the way up to the base of the neck. And as mind starts to wander, as boredom arises, bring your attention to the right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade. The heartbeat in the heart center, can you hear the heartbeat? Notice the collarbone, the right shoulder. Bring attention to the right bicep, right tricep. Right elbow, inside out, front, back. Right forearm, wrist, all of the fingers on the right hand. The entire right arm. And perhaps with an exhale, you imagine the entire right arm just releasing, relaxing, melting. And then bring attention to the left fingertips, left palm, left wrist, left forearm, left elbow, inside out, front, back, left tricep, left bicep, left shoulder, the entire left arm. And perhaps with an exhale, you release, relax, melt all of the muscles in the entire left arm. And then bring attention to the jaw, notice the tongue heavy in the mouth. Right cheek, left cheek, the bridge of the nose, the nostrils, the eyes, heavy behind the eyelids, the space between the eyebrows, the forehead, the top of the head, the back of the head, the entire head, the entire head, the weight of the head melting into the shoulders, shoulders melting into hips, hips into knees, knees into ankles, out through the bottom of the feet. The entire body relaxed, all the muscles melting away any tension. And then take three deep inhales through the nose and three deep long exhales out through the mouth, imagining the breath traveling throughout the entire body. And then whenever you're ready, again, notice the parts of the body that connect with the earth beneath you. Start to bring slight movement into the fingers and the toes. Maybe stretch your arms all the way above your head, making your body as long as possible. Perhaps doing a few neck rolls, whatever you need to do to wake the body back up. Returning back to this moment. And gently blinking the eyes open if they were closed. Ready to move forward with the rest of your day. So again, that was a body scan. It's a great practice to use before bed or to get that mid-afternoon boost throughout your day. You can download Insight Timer, which is a free app, and type in body scan, um, search for body scan, and a number of different options will come up. You can also type into Google, John Kabat-Zinn body scan, and free options will appear on YouTube. So I recommend both of those resources for ongoing practice. And the next practice we'll do together is called box breath. It is a breath that increases focus, which I know is um, increasingly hard for us, many of us lately, as we're working from home or different places or transitioning and there's been a lot of change going on. So this breath um, is super quick and you can do it anywhere, anytime, and again, it helps increase focus in the moment. So we're going to go ahead and settle in and practice together. Wherever you are, find a nice comfortable position. So you could either sit cross-legged on the floor or you can find a seat in a chair with both feet flat on the ground beneath you. And then find a nice tall long spine. Roll the shoulders down and back. And then if it feels okay for you in this moment, go ahead and close the eyes. And if not, just take a soft gaze downward, blurring the vision. And then just start to settle into stillness. So get out any last fidgeting, any last movement. 
And then maybe start to notice the parts of your body that connect with the ground, the earth beneath you. So maybe you raise all 10 toes and lower all 10 toes. Maybe you raise your heels and lower your heels. Pressing all four corners of your feet into the ground beneath you. And perhaps even imagining the ground pressing back, noticing that support. And bring attention to the top of the head, the eyes, the jaw. Notice if you're clenching the jaw at all. Can you release, relax? And then feel the weight of the head melting into the shoulders. The weight of the shoulders melting into the hips. The weight of the hips melting into the knees, the ankles, out through the bottom of the feet. Your entire body grounded here in this moment. And then bring awareness to the breath. Notice the inhale and the exhale and the nose. The air entering and leaving the nostrils. And direct the inhale to the nose and then the exhale to the mouth. So inhaling nose, low belly inflates like a balloon. And then exhaling out through the mouth, belly button falls toward the spine. Inhale, low belly inflates like a balloon. Exhale out. And maybe you even take your hands to your low belly on the inhale to feel the belly inflate. And then exhale, all the air leaves the body. Take a few more deep low belly breaths like that on your own, inhaling through the nose, low belly inflates, and exhaling out nose or mouth, every ounce of air leaves the body. And then take one more breath like that on your own. And then we'll begin to breathe together, inhaling for a count of one, two, three, four. Hold for a count of two, three, four. Exhale out one, two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Inhale one, two, three, four. Hold for that long count of two, three, four, exhale out all the way down, three, four, hold for that count of four, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four, inhale for a count of four, Hold for four, exhale four, hold for four. One more time, inhaling for a count of four, holding for four, exhaling four, and holding for four. And then let your breath return back to its natural pattern. Just notice how you feel. And we'll take three deep collective breaths together. Deepest inhale through the nose. And then deepest, longest audible, meaning you can hear it exhale out through the mouth. Twice more like that. Deepest inhale through the nose. Deepest, longest audible exhale. Final time, deepest inhale. Deepest, longest exhale, sighing everything away all the way out. And then before we close, think of just one small thing you're grateful for today. Perhaps if nothing comes to mind, it's just the simple yet extraordinary fact that you are breathing. The inhale and the exhale. Whatever that thing is, picture it and then repeat to yourself one time. I am grateful. And then wherever you're ready, start to bring slight movement into the fingers and the toes. Gently blink open the eyes if they're closed, returning back to this moment. So that's what we call box breath. It looks like this. And sometimes if my mind's especially busy, I actually like to watch 
or look at this diagram so I don't close my eyes. I'll look at this picture and inhale four, hold four, exhale four, hold four, inhale. And then I'll let my eyes go around the box. So it gives my mind and my eyes something to hold on to. That's good if your mind's especially busy, if you feel like your mind's racing or you're having um, some feelings of anxiety. If you're practicing this breath and you get dizzy at all, which I know sounds silly, but sometimes when we're not used to getting enough air and oxygen throughout our day, when we start to practice breath techniques, we can feel a little bit dizzy. If that's the case, just let the breath practice go and perhaps come back to it later. Two things that I really want you to focus on is how you breathe and where you breathe. So we wanna breathe into the low belly as much as possible. When we're feeling stressed or anxious, we breathe up here and we breathe in through the mouth. So if you've ever had a panic attack, seen someone have a panic attack, or felt very anxious, we breathe like that, really quick, rapid, through the mouth, in the chest. What we wanna do to calm down the body all of the time is drop the breath down to the belly, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the nose or mouth. That automatically tells our body we're safe, everything's okay. It's communicating with your nervous system. So inhale nose, exhale nose or mouth. Exhale on the mouth when you're especially stressed, especially angry or overwhelmed, that releases that tension and energy. So inhale nose, exhale nose or mouth, and then breathe into the low belly. And we want the low belly to actually inflate on the inhale. So like a balloon, we're breathing in, it inflates, and exhale, it deflates. These are really important things to remember when you're breathing because it impacts the nervous system and tells us that we can be calm and safe. So inhale nose, exhale nose or mouth, breathe into the low belly, low belly inflates like a balloon, deflates on the exhale. The breath for focus is inhale four, hold four, exhale four, hold four. Repeat as many times as it feels comfortable for you. If four is too long of a count, you can go down to three. So try inhale three, hold three, exhale three, hold four. Experiment with that and you can also always go up to five. I recommend practicing it just 10 to 20 times to start when you're feeling frazzled, overwhelmed, or like you need to focus. So what we covered today was a body scan, um, which is great for relaxation, increased focus and awareness, um, can be done again before bed or throughout your day. And then we also did box breath together, which is a breath that um, is known to help increase focus. You can do that anywhere, any time. So thank you so much for joining me for this portion of the retreat, Mindfulness and Breath Techniques. Um, I think Max Raphael is after me with some sound healing music, which means you're in for a real treat. Um, if you have any questions about anything we talked about today or practice together, please don't hesitate to shoot me an email. Um, and I, ha I hope you have a great, wonderful rest of the retreat. Thank you so much.